Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this ball bearing. We're going to be using the fillet tool, the revolve tool, as well as the circular pattern tool. So follow along and see how you go. We're going to start off our drawing by sketching the outer race. So if we look at our drawing over here, it's 24 millimeters wide and it's 10 millimeters down. So we're going to draw this 24 by 10 and then I can see it's got a one millimeter um, fillet on each side, but that we can add in once we've done the revolve. We create a sketch on the front plane. It doesn't really matter which plane. We're just going to create our rectangle and this is going to be 24 and tab jumps us to the next one 10. Now I want this centered about the origin so I'm going to set the distance D for distance or diameter and this distance is going to be 24 over 2 which is 12 millimeters. Now we can see that's centered over there. Now if we look at our drawing, we have an outer diameter of 120 millimeters. I'll set the outer diameter to the origin of 60 millimeters. Now we can see our rectangle is constrained. What we've got now is this 12 millimeter radius, the center of which is 8 millimeters down from the inner diameter of the outer race. So we'll draw a 12 millimeter radius circle. 8 millimeters down. I'm just going to push C for circle and draw it up. That's going to be 24. I'll set this distance from the center of the circle to there as 8. And what we can do just to constrain it is set a horizontal vertical constraint. Now we can remove the outer edges. So I just push T for trim and there we have it. What we're going to do now is do a revolve. So they've selected that for us. The axis will be the X axis over here. There you can see we've got the outer race. But if you have a look on here, we've got these one millimeter uh, fillets on the edges. So we're just going to set a fillet to the edge of each face. So I will go to fillet, select this face, and then this face. We'll make that one millimeter. And that's the outer race done. What we're going to do now is the inner race. So I'm going to create a sketch. It doesn't really matter too much what face you put it on, but ideally you could put it on the same face as you did the first one. I'm going to click slice. So there it's showing us on our plane what we're working with. Here in the drawing we can see again it's 24 millimeters wide by 10 millimeters down and then it's got the same dimensions for that radius that cuts out the channel. So let's draw this rectangle. We got 24, sorry that's 10, tab, 24. Now we'll use the same process to dimension this. Dimension that against the origin and make that 12. We then have the inner diameter of the inner race as 60 millimeters. I'm going to just dimension this line to 30. There we can see that is fully constrained. Then I'm going to draw my circle, C for circle, and that's got a diameter of 24 millimeters. Now we'll just constrain it. The center is 8 millimeters from there. And we'll put in a vertical horizontal constraint just to get it fully constrained. T for trim. Now we'll remove the excess. Finish sketch. Now when we revolve, 
we've got that and we will revolve it around the x-axis and we've got the inner race this also has a filleted edge so we will select fillet select these two faces and one millimeter so there we've got our filleted edges what we need to do now is put the ball in so I'm gonna go from a right view and we're gonna sketch on the right hand plane in the drawing here we can see that the ball is 18 millimeters in diameter so let's create a sketch on the right plane I'm gonna select slice and we're gonna create a center diameter circle and it will be 18 millimeters there was a construction line that ran from the center that had a diameter of 90 so we'll go in there I didn't I mention it 90 now we can make the center of the circle coincident with that line and then we put the horizontal constraint on there it's in place what we need to do now is draw a line cutting down the center and then trim this edge you can see there we did the line as a construction line so I'm just going to click on that line again and remove construction so now it's a solid line finish sketch now we'll again be using the revolve tool I'm just going to turn off these bodies and select revolve then we'll select the axis give me a warning now there's no visible bodies I'll turn them on I'll just turn them off so that it will be easier to see the sketch okay now if we look over here at our drawing we can see there's one two three four five six seven eight balls so we're gonna pattern that eight times go to create pattern and circular pattern we're then going to select the body and select the axis the axis will again be the x-axis we can see there that it's showing us it's copied three times we want eight okay and there we have our ball bearing I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe there is a copy of the technical drawing on a Google Drive folder. A link is in the description. Until next time, bye.